welcome back. I've got a journal to share with you guys today. This is my design team project for Artie Mays. I'm, I've used the kit of uh, Ferns and Mushrooms that she's got available on her website. I'm going to put the link below <clears throat> in the description box um, so that you can find it because it is a gorgeous kit. I did a Create With Me a few days ago um, and kind of gave you a bit of a a taster on what what it was going to be about because I made a couple of um, little flip out pockets for it so we'll just get started um, on the cover this is one of the images from the kit I've done some stitching this is some canvas and then I've got some um, chip uh, not chip or cardboard and then a bit of um, textured paper here uh, I've got three types of lace, um, and you can see it's a really, this last one's a really delicate uh, vintage. And then I've got some metal pieces here. Uh, I've named this Places to Wander because it's a bit of a fantasy type uh, journal. And then it's done in the Nick, um, the Booksmith style. I've collaged with the papers from the kit on the cover. So it's given this a really um, old, worn look to it. It's a big spine. I think it's probably close to three inch spine. And I think it's eight and a half by about six inches, um, you know, from, from the back of the spine to the front. Uh, three signatures. <clears throat> I think there's close on 160 pages in this. The closure is... Sorry silk, and you can see it is stuffed. Um, I think I just kept adding and adding because it was just such a big kit to work with, and I really put a lot of elements into this one. So I'll take you inside now, and we'll get started. <clears throat> so at um, the cover here, let's see, I've got... Um, You've got the spines been sewn in with um, some fabric behind, and then I've come back over it with some of the uh, paper from the kit. I've printed onto cardstock, which has then been, you know, onto the back of the or the inside of the cover, and then I've taken some of the washi that um, Andrea give, gives in her um, Facebook group. This is a recycled old mailer that I've <clears throat> tea dyed. I've done some collaging with some of the papers from the kit. And then these are the um, elements from the kit. You've got these that are like little postage stamps. Aren't they adorable? And then this one, I took one of the um, book rings and then I've just um, cut that image out, put it in with a bulb pen. This is some really old trim here and here, and then more sorry silk with some Irish linen thread. Um, let's see, so this pulls out, and this is a journal card. I've done some stitching around. <clears throat> and then this is one of the tags that I've made, and it's got the um, dimensional butterfly there, and I've stamped this book belongs to. So that's tucked in there, and then this is one of the pages from the kit, absolutely gorgeous, I love it. It's so, like I said, dreamy, fantasy type um, style to me, um, very vintage as well, but I, I don't know, if, when I was working with this, it, I don't know, it just felt as though... Um, a land where fairies lived, and I have put some little phrases throughout. Now this page has had some stamping with some gesso, which is on top of um, tea dyed. So I love the look of that. Uh, some more paper from my stash. I did some decoupage here with a um, napkin. And then this is a garden book page. and. This is a little tag I've made here with a little eyelet, and it says, The Wind Has a Sadness. A bit of die cut. Um, this is one of the um, 
flip pockets that I made. Um, I've got a tutorial for this. I've created a playlist on my channel for all my tutorials, so if you're interested in learning how to make this, just check that out. And then this also has a little pocket in the back of this tag. So I've tucked away a little journal card there. So there's a lot of writing space on this journal. Uh, some collaging here. This is um, <clears throat> handmade pa uh, paper. Love those images. Uh, this is a flip out. So you've got lots of, you got some lined, and then this is all tea dyed. I've hand torn this. And then these are some little tags that I made from the, um, the kit um, elements. So, and then you've also got a tuck spot back here. A bit of stitching. Um, this is some coffee and lace um, dyed paper, so I backed it with that. There isn't any white paper in this. I've made sure that everything's been covered or inked. This is another of the journal cards from the kit. It's a big kit. It's just amazing uh, how much is in this, and I still couldn't get through it. And that was after doing this um, this journal. I still had a few sheets left. Um, just incredible. This has been <coughs> stamped, sewn onto some... Uh, muslin and then backed with more of the canvas fabric and then this is another little pocket here there's nothing inside but <clears throat> on the front here I've created another little pocket with another uh, tag from a uh, journal card from my stash I love these papers. That's um, that comes in the kit, so that's just a beautiful sheet. You can use that in many, many ways. Um, this page, I've just I've got a little bulldog clip. This is a <clears throat> another envelope that I have created um, with some of the <clears throat> background papers I printed out on just cheap copy paper. And then I tore it out and collaged on top of this. This is a doubled up uh, book page pocket. And then with the collaging over it, it's, it's ended up with three layers. I love the way that's, um, that's come out. I think it's really, really pretty. And then I've just kept this uh, clipped in so that you could move this within the journal where, wherever you would like to. Um, and yeah, this side actually flips out. Got a small flip out there. So um, here is um, a belly band that she gives you, and then you also have the circle that can cut out, and you can glue on top of that. I love how that looks. Just gorgeous. Another journal card from the kit, and then this is from my stash. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I think I gave you the measurements. The pages are about five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Um, here is another little floating pocket that I've made, so that can be moved around wherever you choose to put it. This has been um, embossed and sewn, this little pocket. Uh, some ledger paper. Um, this is a uh, one of the window envelopes. <clears throat> I backed it with tea dyed paper and then embossed and stitched one of the images from the kit. I love how it peeks through. I've also got collaging on this. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the colors in this. It's so, so pretty. <clears throat> this is some avocado coffee mixed um, dyed paper with, with some um, doily impression on it. I thought that went nicely with it. Here, <clears throat> another journal card from my stash and another little card that I've collaged using some of the papers from the kit. And then I love this little um, scrapbook paper I had in my stash. Uh, it had the mushrooms on it so it had to go in here. Um, love that. <laughs> and then it flips up, open again. So there's a 
a lot of writing paper or space in this. More of the handmade paper. Here is um, another envelope. This is from Artie Mae's uh, Walk in Nature kit, and it matched beautifully with this. There's another of her journal cards. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, I, I've concluded that because it, it went along nicely with it. A bit more collaging on this. And into the second signature, another of the belly bands. Uh, some more of the journal cards that are included. And then this is one of Artie Mae's uh, floral cards. Uh, it's a different uh, kit within her shop, but they are absolutely gorgeous, those little floral cards. Here is some more... Um, handmade paper with the fern-like impression on it. I think I've got a piece in, yes I do, in every signature you get a, a piece of this and it is gorgeous. If you wanted to, you could tear this out and embellish other things with it. It, it would be easy enough to do that. But I just love it. It's got such a beautiful feel to it. Love that page. Uh, here is another flip out, some more of the avocado coffee colored paper. These are vintage um, floral book pages. Here is a CD case. Um, as I had said in my tutorial, in this particular kit, um, Andres, Andres included some of these um, CD size images. Isn't that so clever? She's she's come up with this idea and I've not seen anybody else do this yet. So I love that. And um, I just back, you know, she you get two and I just scored down the middle, stitched it together so that you got a nice writing space here. And I absolutely love how this um, peeks through the little um, CD case. And I've done you know, there's some vintage trim there with some uh, collaging of the papers. It says fairies live here, and then you've got the little fussy cut mushroom. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful papers. Um, this is a napkin that I recently picked up. You won't believe. I got... Um, six of these at the thrift store and they were in perfect condition and uh, nobody uses fabric napkins anymore so I got six of those for 99 cents and uh, I thought oh gosh because I love their embroidery work on them so I've cut them down into little pockets and I love how that has come out it just went perfectly with this I've had them I've had them here for about three months and, you know, I forget about stuff, and I was cleaning up the other day, and I spotted them, and I thought, oh, I'm going to pull one out to, as a reminder. And as soon as I printed this kit, I knew I, I would want to put one in here. Um, this is the other bit of that. Um, it's an envelope that's been folded over, so there's a pocket area in that. Another of the, um, you got the burlap with the um, stamped and sewn on saying bloom and this is another of the tags from the kit love it now this I'm very pleased with how this has come out um, I've had my beeswax out as you guys know so I took one of Artie Mae's pages trimmed it down to the size I wanted and I have beeswax this um, I've glued it in there and so you've got a beautiful beeswax uh, pocket here and then I stitched all around it and I love it. And then you've also got on the end, it's just a little um, dragonfly charm that I've attached to the, uh, the linen thread there. And I love how that looks. It is absolutely gorgeous and it feels so nice that beeswax does. 
There's a close up of that. <clears throat> this is another of the um, book page pockets. It's got some beautiful illustrations on it. I haven't put anything in that one, but there are a lot of tags and journal um, cards in here, so they can easily be moved around. Here is a book page pocket that I've um, collaged with some of the papers. I've made a little dimensional butterfly down here. And then you've got a pocket back here, and then this pocket where I've tucked the tag and the journal card from the kit. And I've got some um, Irish linen thread behind there. This is some of the washi tape. I really enjoyed making this journal. Um, it's all been sewn in with a five-hole pamphlet stitch. <clears throat> Beautiful page, isn't it? That's the center of that second signature. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this one. Um, I don't know. It just really was uh, enjoyable to create this one. I love how that tag has come out. Those mushrooms are just amazing. I don't know how she found so many beautiful images, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Here's another pocket, and again, there's there's not a, a tag in this one, but you there's, honestly, guys, I haven't counted, but there's so many within this. Um, this is some paper ruffle that I created using, I had a bit of leftover that I hadn't used, and I thought, oh, I'm going to make a nice ruffle, and then I came back and aged that with some of the... Um, uh, vintage photo and the wild honey uh, distress oxide from Tim Holtz and I love how that has come out and especially against that uh, mauve I think that's a really nice contrast on that page this is another um, window envelope and inside this as you can see there's two more journaling tags here and this is from Artie Mae's Walk in the Nature um, as I said, that her kits are wonderful to intermix, you know, and I like that because um, I can, uh, if I have anything left over, and, and because they're such big kits, I generally do, it's nice to be able to know that the next project or, you know, any projects coming up, I'll, I'll get to use those in. I love how that's showing through some more of my uh, paper from my stash and this is this paper is, is in the kit beautiful background and this lined paper is in the kit as well another um, book page there another flip out and that uh, handmade paper now this is um, an altered paper clip using uh, bits and pieces and then I've created this little file folder here with a pocket on the front and another tag and then inside you've got another pocket here and here and then a big pocket here and I've altered this little receipt these are in Artie Mae's shop as well these are vintage receipts I like them because they're nice and long like a check, so those are really, really cool. <clears throat> and I love how that has come out. Isn't that beautiful, that whole spread there with the browns? It's just, I love it, love it, love it. So much texture going on. So, this is the third signature. Look at those pages. Just so, so pretty. Here I just took a, an extra bit of paper I had and just put added that to that plain sheet. <clears throat> Another one of the little flip outs. And again, it's got another little pocket on the back. Hope you guys can see that. And it says the garden that sings, and then you flip over, and this is, oh, isn't that a beautiful image there? So you get it right here, and that'll all be hidden. Another little uh, book page 
or no, actually this was a digi I printed out and I just sat down one day. Um, in fact, it was the day I was watching Artie Mays and uh, she was cleaning out her little junk bin and I thought, oh, it's time for me to do it too. So I just sat down and did a load of these little pockets with printouts that I hadn't, hadn't necessarily come out the way I thought they would. So that's what I did there. And this is a double pocket, by the way. Another uh, page that has been gessoed and inked. And it flips out there as well. And that's the other piece of that uh, handmade paper. I'm telling you guys, that stuff is gorgeous. Really love that in a nature journal. Oh gosh, my doilies falling off here. Um, okay, let me get you back in frame. Uh, another CD case that's been altered. And this one has a little surprise because on the back I've added one of the Tim Holtz uh, photo dies. And it's just full of lots of little, these little journal cards come in the kit. And then the other stuff is just bits and pieces. This is another one of the little um, postcard, uh, not postcard, uh, postage stamp that she includes and then I just cut this out and added the field notes and then the back of it I collaged with some of the paper and then in here is um, I, one of the CD oh goodness have I glued it yep stuck it in there too soon okay I'll have to wiggle that out I'll do that off camera Anyways, that's isn't that image beautiful? Ah, oh, that's so frustrating because I put a little bead of glue down there and uh, I thought that had dried, but I'll have to fiddle around and get that. But I have to correct that. <laughs> um, another book page pocket. And these are the floral uh, cards I was talking about. She's also got these in her shop and those are gorgeous. Another flip out page here. And there's the other page. This is an index card. Another vintage uh, book page. This is old uh, music roll paper. I told you guys I purchased about eight rolls of that um, a while back. And I've been slowly <clears throat> pulling out because it's quite a process. You've got to pull that out. You've got to press it and then obviously cut it down. So um, I've doubled it up to make it a little bit thicker. Um, and I just love it. I love that paper because it's so aged looking. And what I've done here is I've got one pocket, this pocket, and then um, this is a envelope. So you've got three pockets on this page. And then I've got this other little journaling card tucked inside there. So that's why I said guys there's so many little hidden um, pockets within this and then this I love how that's come out on the um, corrugated uh, cardboard. I've stamped petals onto some muslin and stitched that and I'll try to give you a close-up of that. And this is another page from the kit. Gosh, I'm running out of time, guys. I'm going to have to pick it up. Here is um, some old trim, and this is another piece of the washi that she gives you in, your fa in the Facebook group. And that's the other side of that envelope. It is full. Certainly is full. Yeah, I love how that tag has come out. That is so pretty. And another journal card. And old vintage lace here. Another little journal card. Just so much in this, guys. Um, it was an absolute delight to um, to make this one. Here, um, I told you another uh, pocket from that mushroom. This is more ephemera tucked away, and just various things from my stash, and some more of the fussy cut. Uh, she gives you. Just the little labels as well so those are really sweet and then this one I love how this has come out I just made a little tuck spot on that 
um, journal card. So you can journal back here, and then this other journal card is tucked up in there, and I love the way that looks in that pocket. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, decoupage this um, napkin on this book page. Or not book page, uh, the page within the journal. And this has all been gessoed and stamped. And here I've altered one of the uh, postcards with another uh, bit of paper from my stash. And that's behind this belly band. It's huge, guys. <laughs> Honestly. And then this... You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me post this. I love this. This is my faux leather little envelope, and I've put a bit of lace and a button, and then it's just clipped in with one of these little Tim Holtz clips. So there's nothing in that, but as you can see, I, I really couldn't have put anything else into this journal. It's just packed. And then on the very back, guys, there's another pocket back here, and this little coin envelope on the very back. So, there she is. This has been called, um, I've named this one Places to Wander, because it really, really, to me, it's just, it's just a, a journal that takes me you know while I was making it I just felt as though you're in this wonderful lush forest where there's fairies and all sorts of things living and I just loved it I love it I loved working with the kit so thank you Andrea for <clears throat> creating such a beautiful kit to work with um, I don't know if I said this the cover has been decoupaged um, with using her papers, so I just love it, love it, love it. Um, so there it is, guys. That is Places to Wonder. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll put the link below to um, Artie May's shop, and I will see you guys here very soon. Take care. Bye.